guys, we made it to Daniel's game, I believe. His thing is so big, y'all. Oh gosh, so we came to support baby Daniel in his football game. So, um, yeah, guys, we his have to school go better not disappoint me. Hold this, Julia. Four, six. Y'all, his school look a little big. It's a little six plus five. That is eleven. You know how to do math? That's that eleven. <laughs> it is six, seven, eight. Does anybody have ten? No. I, I didn't bring my money with me. I, I didn't bring my money with me. What's that twenty? Y'all, look, y'all see that thunder? I believe they said it was halftime, so guys, we made it to the game! Shout out to Daniel, I hope you win, my boy. You see KK? Is that Daniel? Is that Daniel? Where's KK? Where's KK? So, yeah, we made it to the game. Go, 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 go! Go! Which number is he? So Which number is he here? This is actually my first Daniel! Okay. Marco Tiarina. I feel That's the final special. play of the first half. We're at halftime. Y'all, got Nation here. Big Nation. Y'all, if they want to put me and Leon on the field, we'll be so in the field. Got KK and Kaden over there. Hey, Rosie Nation. You and me and Leon. I want to skip Daniel. Yes, you're a football player. Number two. You know you girls can play football in Texas, so go ahead and sign them up. I'm just kidding. Well, you said he's number two? Number two. on the field now. Number two. Number two. I don't know if you guys see number two. He's down there. Daniel! I'm the loudest one feeling like that. Oh, wait. Let's kick off the time. He killed me. This is exciting, guys. No so boy, you better not disappoint me. Is that him right there? Oh yeah, it is. No, he's over there. That's it. Well, that's it. Over there, number two. Why is that quarter four? It just said half time. Hey, my phone got That was a terrible kick. What was that? What are y'all doing? <laughs> they wouldn't be able to catch you, Leon. Baby, they wouldn't be able to catch you. Uh-uh. 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 uh 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 <laughs> oh, I might sign up, man. <laughs> so it's like two teams, so like the black team. Also the play, back yeah, to the 42-yard line. Second down and 12 for Ulyss. So Dan's on like a small team. I mean, it's 18. Ah, that little boy tiny. That little boy tiny. Look at the guy from TV. That would be you, right? That's going to be you, Nation. Nation want to be a cheerleader. Catch me on the field. That's where you can catch me at. Now you want to catch you on the field. For real. Any girls playing? Any girls playing for real? Yeah, we fuck, girl. They be like tackling hard. That's what the girl did. No, catch me. That's what the girl did. Slab, too. Come on, come on. Zone for the stadium touchdown. Finally, they got the throw flag. <laughs> there go, baby dear. You're right there, y'all. Number two. Let's go, Daniel! Yes! Daniel's so tiny. <laughs> He's so good. He's 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 good. Who, did it? Yeah, you played the ball too. Who won the trophy? Who did that? They ate that. They they not eating nothing. Your team won it. You didn't win. Huh? Where's all the children? Y'all get to play for their win. I don't guess everyone in here. It's entertaining. I don't think it was. 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 I don't think it
Use your strength to hit. Welcome to play back to the 49. Yeah, brings up like third down and 16. So, y'all, we at the game and they winning. We got 8 to 0. So, it's looking good. Really but we are here, y'all. It's kind of hot. Shouldn't have worn this sweater, but uh, yeah, no, it's kind of hot. Make sure you have fun. This is actually my first football game. I mean, y'all go to football games back at home, but. They are running to me. Next one, next show, I'm going to be on the field. Be on the field? I'm, I'm going to be on the field. Leon said the same thing. Leon said he want to be out there. You want to be out there, Leon? I'm, I'm going to be out there. If you the king, Well, now at Ben Field, brings up fourth down and 17 for you. All right, that's right, Dan. Going to get hit. All right, they gave him the ball, and he. <laughs> Did he come back home? Where is he? Yeah. It's 8 to 0. Where they won? Oh, yeah, they won. They won! They didn't win yet. They didn't win yet. Oh, they didn't win yet? No. Yeah, they so did. a minute left. A minute? Oh, really, Leon? A minute? What can they do in a minute? They what could. They do in a minute and 20. <laughs> right. They make it a tiebreaker? What tiebreaker, Mom? I don't know. Should I don't Mom, know. Mom, look at the score. What tiebreaker? That's what he said if they just score. No, you got one I, minute. Our team score. But if, if the other team oh, wait, score, they get sick. It's our ball? No, it's, it's the other team's ball. Right. So Thanks for inviting us, KK. Right now, huh? Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, this was fun. Good. This is my first football game, girl. Same. Bro, y'all see this? We gotta invite us some more. Y'all see this? Yeah, when's the next game? Next game, I'm Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. It's at his actual school, though, I think. Oh, my God. Wait, so this is the other school? Oh, yeah, there. That's right. Let me see. I'll tell you. That's Simon. That's Kate's little friend. He be playing. Put your pants down about the nine yard line. Get up. Uh oh. <laughs> Simon, get up. You <laughs> really, Kate? <laughs> wait, wait. Kaden. Kaden. People from your school is playing on the field? No. You don't go to, you don't go to my school. You don't go to the same school as Danny? No, I'm not on the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Ugly. <laughs> Simon, get up. That's not Simon, Kaden. That number say five. Simon is seven. Oh, Simon's over there. Yeah. He's on the bench. Never mind. Simon is go to your school. Did Daniel go back on the field? Oh, right I think they finna go back on. He put his helmet back on. Somebody hurt down there, y'all. Y'all see him? He hurt. You hurt, guys. Walk it off. He's hurt. See, now when I see you, I'm gonna be like, walk it off. They're gonna run the clock walk down. Walk it off, Katie. Like the nurses, get when that one eye pack. When your arm, when your arm like this, I'm gonna be like, walk it off. Get out of your cup. Woo! Let's keep that walking. Boo. Hey, I'm leaving now. What happened? It's over, nation. It's 32 seconds. You gotta run the clock. Scoreboard! Scoreboard! Hey y'all, this is super lit. It was super duper fun. Um, we'll be doing some fun stuff this weekend because it's Caden's birthday this weekend. And we going to a birthday party. Oh, this weekend? Yes, it's Caden's birthday on Saturday. Saturday. Make sure you got all the money on your face. That's going to be the final part. Let's go! And we we'll wish both teams the best of luck as they continue their seasons. What? What about a Chick fil A sandwich? <laughs> well, thank you for your attendance tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Please be safe to your next destination. Yeah, good sportsmanship. Sure yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain gets here. Eight well, thank to you zero. For all of good us. job, baby Daniel. Hey, baby Daniel, right there. He's over there. Number two. Especially Leon talking about he can show everybody up out there on that field. Oh, there they go. Where baby Dean? Where he at? I know he ain't gonna get on the bus. Oh, there they go. It's so windy. It's a storm coming. It's a storm coming. 
They just trying to see you. They not going to the house. Right. We can't say hi. What up, baby Daniel? Hey. Ain't nobody even on the bus. They ain't started the bus yet. <laughs> Touch that, man. That's my brother. That's your brother. Say that's my brother. That's not good. Yeah. Daniel. Damn, Daniel. You did good, man. I ain't know you can play like that. You gonna walk home? Walk. This is about to rain. All right, y'all. We about to get up out of here before we be slipping and sliding on this freeway. CJ got his hair cut. Like I said, guys, I got to get the kids prepared. As a matter of fact, I need a shout out to Mr. Rico because that was actually his barber and he pulled up and I didn't even know where I was going to get Leon's hair. I mean, I they ain't know what the fuck was going on. Oh, hey, 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 hey. the general. Yes, yeah, so he had to get it, Leon, I'm not Leon, he had to get CJ a fresh cut because, as you guys know, they are going to their dad's house, but it's gonna be a couple of days late. There's a little bit of miscommunication. I don't know if anything's gonna be going out there. If right, Uncle Rico right. had to come in time before they, I had to see him before they left, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what really is about. But yeah, guys, we had to get the kids prepared. So yes, they're still going, but we're just a couple of days behind. The kids will be going to the house on Saturday. So I don't even know if you guys will be even seeing any of this. I'm just recording this just in case. So yeah, shout out to Mr. Suave. Shout out to Rico pulling up with his barber. So yeah, thank you. Mr. Suave, y'all. The general. The general. Yes, dear. Can we go to Daddy's house? Yes, you're going to be going to Daddy's house on Saturday. So guys, we just chilling for right now. Like I said, the barber pulled up and um, the other kids, they went to the park to go hang out for a little bit. And um, yeah, I got some more stuff I gotta do tomorrow and then Saturday we're up out of here. So I get back with y'all. Just trying to, you know, document some stuff just in case it get a little ugly later on. Too. Yes, so now y'all know. What they know, Rico? The whole time. <laughs> Royalty Nation, it's me, Royalty, of course, and I am back with another video. I'm screaming right now because they're playing music outside of this place called Main Event. I don't know if you guys can see it because the sun is super duper shining, but right now, guys, it is Saturday, and um, we are at Caden's party, so everybody leave down below. Happy birthday, Caden. If you guys don't know who Caden is, Caden is my friend, KK's son. I'm pretty sure you guys seen him in all the videos. Daniel's son, Caden. So today is his 12th birthday, and we popped up at his birthday party. We got everybody with us. We got the twins, we got Leon, we got the everybody else, we got grandma. But after this, guys, the twins will be going to the other side, going to their dad's house. So I know y'all doing all this little yapping and yapping, but um, yeah, they'll be there. Don't worry, they'll be there. But here we are, y'all. Mommy, lock the door. Ooh, I think KK said it's like a Dave and Buster's type of place, but um, we can meet each other. So happy birthday, Kaden. Oh, there's KK right there. Hey, KK. We got Miss K Kizzle here. Hey. Ready to see Kaden? It's his birthday. Yeah, we already got the lane, so they already started, but we got a party host, so you can just tell her. Oh, okay. Okay. Bow. The kids been wanting to bow. Now you got some competition. Yeah, big boy, yeah. They just said she want a hug. Aww, happy birthday. You feel better? How's your eye doing? Doing good? Oh, 
Daddy, you want to take a picture? Yes. Yeah. Guys, we getting some dinner. 
took for me. You got some toys for you? Yeah. She then went to the bathroom. But look at Kaden's big old party. They had a big old party. Shout out to Kaden, man. Big 12, big 12. We got a balloon stuck up there. This KK did a thing. KK, can't give him. But yeah, we about to um, eat my little dinner and then we about to get on the airplane. So y'all, let me eat my boo because I'm hungry. Orange is lame. Lame, lame, lame. Find something else to do. Because when I come out the Whitworth, it's a problem. It's a, it's a problem. But I can't say that I'm a little irritated. I'm a little bit mad about some things that I've seen. And, you know, I really don't want to speak about it. Because, you know, I'm trying to think about my kids. But... I just feel like the other side, y'all do too much of this. Y'all gossip too much. Y'all do a little bit too much gossiping to the point where you need your ass whooped. Is that what you really want? You want your ass whooped? Because look, me personally, I ain't got to do it. I just got to make a phone call and they'll be on your head. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to keep my composure. I'm trying to stay cool, calm, and collective. I'm trying to mind my business. I'm trying to mind the business that pays me, and that's myself. I'm on my own business, but y'all is steady in my business. I kind of got a clue of what's going on. The nigga, he's mad over there. He's mad. He has no control. So guess what? All he do is this. All he do is this. So when he tell you all this, you run and you run your mouth and you think that you're doing something. Baby girl, you're not doing nothing at all. Why don't you just sit your bushy head ass down somewhere and go make some food or go wash some dishes or go kick a soccer ball? Why don't you do that? For you not to be a mother, you sure do got a lot of mouth. For you not to have much responsibility, bitch, you sure do got a lot of fucking mouth. A lot of fucking mouth. Bitch, I don't even fucking know you. I don't want to get to know you. But you making it to the point, bitch, where I'm about to be in your face because you around my kids. And you keep disrespecting my kids. It's going to be a big ass problem. I'm just letting you know that right now, Lexter. It's going to be a problem. So if I was you, Barbie, I would keep it cute and keep my kid's name out your mouth. Keep my mama's name out your mouth. Yeah. You had it up with my mama, but you was running, but you ain't had it up with me. And if you so big, bad, and bold, and you ain't scared, then why don't you come drop my kids off to me yourself if you ain't so fucking scared? Because I bet you you won't do that. I bet you you won't bring your happy ass down the motherfucking hill because you too scared. You got a lot of this. If I were you, I would, just stick, I would stick to soccer ball, you soccer mom. You soccer girl, stick to that. Because that seems like that's what you do best. I also seen like, you know, these little messages going around. And that's what I said. Y'all do a lot of this. That's all y'all do. That's all y'all do. All you do is got a nagging ass nigga around you that nag all fucking day long. He, all he do is nag. He mad. He big mad. He gonna stay mad. And you up all up in our child support business. Bitch, who are you? Whatever amount of money he gives me, that's what he owe me, sweetheart. Bitch, you just came around. I've been around. It's a difference. You just got here. I've been here. Just know your position that you got. It ain't even, a, it ain't even worth all the stuff that I'm saying right now because... You, you a nobody. He don't even like you. You see, he already cheating on you. <laughs> and then you try to clean it up. <laughs> I remember them days. And I don't miss them. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that is how I am feeling right now.
I know you guys been missing me. I know I've been missing in action, guys. But I've just been trying to be low-key. I've just been trying to, you know, stay cool, calm, and collected. Because I see the internet got my name in the streets. And y'all just doing too much. Like y'all always do. I just want to scream. I just want to scream. It's just so irritating. But if I come up on here and say what I got to say, it's a problem. But when I open up my mouth, I'm the bad guy. But if I got to defend myself, I'm the problem. What's really the issue? What is really the issue? First off, Y'all already know I don't like doing this. I don't like making videos like this. I don't like doing none of this shit because right now I'm just irritated. I'm really, really irritated. I'm irritated with the internet. I'm irritated with the other side. I'm irritated with all you naysayers. I am just irritated with all y'all. Y'all can't find nothing more creative to do. Like y'all don't have no creative mind. Y'all don't got no creative spirit. Y'all don't got no leading spirit y'all don't got none of that all y'all do is involve yourself around my life my drama and y'all make shit up every freaking day i'm getting messages saying i'm in this place and i ain't even heard of this place it's just absurd like y'all is just going way too far trying to find royalty what is the big deal what is it about me what is it that you guys really want I'm not understanding. I don't get it. What? I'm normal. I'm a human being just like y'all. I got to do the normal, the regular. I got a family. I got to take care of my kids. I got to get money. I got to do the same stuff that y'all normal people got to do. I'm just like y'all. So I don't understand why my life is so fascinating to you guys. I just don't get it. I don't understand. I'm just mind blown about how invested you guys are in my life. Whether it's my life, my child custody, my whereabouts, my kids, who I'm with, what I'm doing, where I'm at, where I live, what's this, what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my hair, what I'm putting on my face, what I'm putting in my ass. Like, what is going on? Y'all need to take a fucking chill pill and find something better to fucking do. Like, for real. Like, this is just... Damn! It's irritating. It's really irritating. I just see a whole bunch of stuff just going around. I see people having conversations about me and my kids. I just see a whole bunch of bull shit. And it's irritating. But like I said, if I open up my mouth, I'm the bad person. But before I continue on, I'm gonna take accountability for what I'm about to say. I'm about to take accountability for being a bad person. I'm about to take accountability for whatever y'all put up on me. Cause at the end of the day, Y'all niggas knit and y'all pick at me for no reason. I can't even live my life normally. And that's all I'm trying to do. Y'all act like I'm out here boasting, wilding, just doing the most. And I'm just trying to be low key. I'm trying to take care of my kids. I'm trying to do me. But some people can't even accept that. They can't accept that. They can't accept that I've moved on. I don't need them. I don't want them. But sometimes you have to swallow those hard pills and get over it. See, I didn't even want to address this bushy-headed Bruce Jenner, Lexter, Lion King, manzy looking hoe. But... Since you talking about my kids, you talking about my mom, you talking about me, bitch, why don't you sit your ass down and find something safe to do? Because you talking all this riffraff and it's hoo-ha, 
but 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 I bet you I bet you a million dollars you won't even bring me my kids you won't even drive down the hill to bring me my kids and face me like a woman you could talk all this stuff on the internet because you think you hard in our reality you just a scary ass white bitch that's gonna call the police that's gonna put a restraining order on somebody that's why I'm taking it easy on you because you got the laws on your side because you a police ass bitch that's why I'm taking it easy on you because my life my kids life is more precious than yours not only that I got way more shit to lose than you you ain't got nothing but a dog to lose that's all you got to lose is a dog so if I was you Bruce Jenner, Lion King, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mind your business. Mind your business. <sighs> Just mind your business. Go kick a soccer ball. Go do that. Because baby girl, you still a little girl. You don't know nothing about being a mother. You don't know nothing about being a woman, obviously, because you act like a little kid. So if I was you, Bruce Jenner, sit down somewhere before you really get hurt. You can get hurt, actually. You can get hurt. And I promise you it won't be by me. It won't be by me. But at the end of the day, your ugly ass mama, she should have swallowed your ugly ass. That's what she should have did. And your ugly ass grandma should have swallowed your ugly ass mama. How about that? Since you want to fucking bring up shit like that, bitch, I can do the same fucking thing. But y'all bitches is petty. Y'all bitches is petty. Y'all bitches is scary. And y'all bitches is broke. That's what y'all is. Yeah, I said it. You broke. You got me in court all this time because you don't want to pay child support because you broke. <laughs> so... Lester, mind your business. Sit down somewhere. Go clean some house. Go kick some soccer balls. Okay? Like I said, I guarantee you, you won't bring me my kids down the hill. If you so big, bad, and bold, and you ain't scared of nothing, bring me my kids down the hill yourself. Because both of y'all scary. Yeah, that nigga was scary to come at 12 o'clock at night. Scary ass. What you scared of? Why y'all scared of little old royalty? Huh? Why y'all scared of little Aurora <laughs> Bitch, mind your fucking business. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. But I see you checking out iCloud. <laughs> Checking out iCloud gonna get you hurt, boo-boo. Play with somebody else. Stop playing with me. CJ, stop fucking playing with me. Control your bitch. That's all I'm saying. Control your bitch. Tell your bitch to mind her fucking business. And bitch, you talking about who's trashy? Bitch, the only trash thing I see is your white trailer trash ass. Bitch, don't ever call my kids trashy. Like I said, I bet you won't bring my kids down that hill. I bet you you won't. Like I said, Royalty Nation, I'm going to take accountability for what I just said. Since y'all always say I don't take accountability, so I just did it right now. I ain't got time for the bullshit. I ain't got time for the shenanigans. But you want these problems? What's up, Lexi? What's up, Bruce Jenna? What's up? That's all I'm saying.